In niching down, is the fear of missing out on clients that are good but not ideal overblown? Um, okay, so you're saying that if you niche down to a specific, and you do immigration law, um, if you niche down to a specific uh, uh, type of client, um, you're going to miss out on other clients that are good. Well, I mean, okay, so niching down can mean a few different things. Like, so immigration, I mean, there's a lot of different things you can do with immigration. Obviously, there's investor investor visas, there's family immigration, um, there's a lot of different things like that. But um, what I always recommend people do is take take the most the most desirable practice area that they want to that they want to focus on and um, focus on that for all your content. Because, like for example, like. It, you're, if you're creating content and, and, and really kind of like living and breathing this stuff and it's something that you don't want to do that like, like, so for example, let's say, um, you know, you hate, you hate traumatic brain injury cases or you hate medical malpractice. So you hate medical malpractice. You want, you know, you want car accident cases, but you think that, you know, medical malpractice, there's some really big cases in there. So you could really, you could really make a lot of money if you get the right one. So you want to do a medical malpractice campaign, but the problem is, is that you're going to burn out because, you know, it's, it's the type of thing. Like for me, I do so much stuff talking about marketing and talking about law firm marketing and all that stuff. I don't consider it work. I enjoy doing this. Like I, I don't, I, we've been on here for 45 minutes. I don't, I'm not sure. I'm not sitting here watching the clock. Like, Oh my God, this is dragging You know? So it's like, I like talking about this stuff. So that's the most important thing is that if you figure out what, what is the, 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 the practice area that you most want to do? You know, if you, if you had to get rid of everything, you had to get rid of all your other practice areas, you can only focus on this one thing, what would you most want to do? And that's what I would focus on. Now, what ends up happening is that you get so many cases in that one practice area that you don't necessarily, you don't necessarily, I guess you don't necessarily care about the other one. I don't know. I mean, I mean, now, and here's the other thing, like for me, I get so many, I get so many lawyers that are trying to contact me, that contact me every single day. Um, asking me to do their marketing or to help them with their 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 law firm's marketing in some capacity that I don't miss all the chiropractors that I'm not getting. You, you know what I mean? <laughs> like because I'm really not going after them and I, I don't really care about them. Um, now, what you could do, I mean, immigration is kind of a, a niche where what you could do, it's immigration's a little. You could be a little bit more broad with immigration than something like you know like personal injury or something because personal injury, like anybody could be in a car accident. So how do you target everyone, right? So that's why I really, really emphasize niching down for something like that. But for immigration, like you could, you could niche down into, um, I mean, there's a lot of immigration, you can go a little wider. So, you know, you could do invest, you know, investment visa, you could, you could target all of investment visas. So, um, you know, uh, the EB fives and the E one, E two, all that type of stuff, or you could do, you know, uh, business, uh, business law and, and focus on the uh, H-1B stuff and, and, and helping businesses that have, um, you know, employees overseas. Or you could just focus on, you know, like like a, a, a specific type, uh, a specific nationality. Like if you look like at, at different groups, like there's a, um, I think there's like a group called like Indians in Atlanta that has like 25,000 people in it. And there, you know, <laughs> so you can you can go different ways like that. Also, I mean, it's it's really at the end of the day, it's basically how many you know what, what can you what can, what what do you really want to talk about? You know, um, you really could talk about all things immigration because immigration you can target very easily. You know, and the way that you target immigration is especially if you're targeting like like with Facebook ads, just find celebrities that are, are that would only be known to people from a specific com- country and target those celebrities. And that's how you find people that are from those, even if they're living in the United States, that's how you find people that are from those countries. So that's, that's how you do immigration. But you know, I mean, it's at the end of the day, niching down, like it's, it's all, it's all personal preference. I can't tell you what you, what you, what you want to do or what, you know, or, or what the best thing is, but you know, what you should really focus on is what you enjoy doing the most and what you, what you're the most passionate about and what you most want to talk about a lot. And, and that's, and then what will happen is, is that will you miss, will you miss some clients? Yeah, probably. But you'll get so many clients that you want that you don't really care about the ones that you're missing. I mean, there's, there's so many clients that I'm probably missing that I, if I, if I went into other, other niches, I'm sure that I could, I could get a lot of their different types of clients, but I'm so busy with lawyers that it, it just doesn't, it doesn't really make a difference.